So where in the world is Dover Note? Hey guys, Ace here with another video, and I'm going to try to keep this as PG as possible in respect to the following channel's audience. So, I literally, I want to say recently, but really I literally just watched a video from one of my favorite channels, even now as everything they're going through. I'll explain later, don't worry. They're still one of my favorite channels. And I was just going to comment down below or what have you, you know, and show my support and all that whatnot nonsense. But instead, I wanted to take the time to just talk about my afterthought reaction of it. So. Here's the video from the channel Dope or Nope. Where's Dope or Nope? So, Matthias recently uploaded this about nine minutes ago, and I was going to be like everybody else and you know, comment down and all that, but I decided instead I wanted to make this reaction video because I have some thoughts, some words. Even some things that I wanted to say Matthias personally. Matthias, if you're watching this video, hey, what's up? Smaller creator. You could say inspired by you in a lot of ways. So, let me just get down to it. I personally am a fellow YouTuber that enjoys storytelling. You know, some of you that know my channel well... You may know my alternate channel that now I share with my girlfriend where I made music and I started transitioning it to every song would make a storytelling album. Right. Each song might have a story, each song might come to the story itself, yada yada. And I've even tried to do it a little bit on this channel, where I just merely said, I'm going to play a game that has some kind of storytelling that I know I'm going to enjoy, that I also can make a decision to go into a completely different part of the story. I think that's one thing that has kept me with Warframe knowing that I helped make decisions in the story. That I personally said a couple of things or made a couple of decisions that impacted its story. I've always been a personal fan of this. I've always, read, like, I used to read books a lot. And one of the ones I preferred were those ones where... You read to a certain point and it would give you options and you could go to say page 39 from page 2 and it would start a new part of the story based on your decision what you wanted to do with it and so it was from that point on I've always realized how much I enjoyed storytelling you know I've even I think I might have even done a few videos in the past that have been me just pissing off my Legos or like even you see with my Gmod stories which I've honestly been meaning to get back to but there's been a lot going on I'll, I, I can always tell you more about that in a future video if I get enough questions about it but then getting back to it it made me realize just how much I personally love storytelling too so what i'm gonna break down this video for you right what matthias talks about in this video is how much he loves storytelling and he got caught up being a businessman rather than a youtuber and honestly that's something that i've always thought about and learned from personally because i've always personally known how being a businessman first and a youtuber second can screw you over. You see those numbers, you always look at how to profit the most from it and make 
your business the best business, most beneficial. And I, I do understand it to a point, especially if it's your livelihood, you know. I can't say much in that way because me personally, I keep YouTube as my hobby. I mean, there was a point it used to be my outlet, but I have plenty of videos covering that. So I'm not going to talk about it. Um, but yeah, I there's a reason I personally do that. It's because it can screw with your life. And what he even talks about in the video was how he had to take a little vacation from it because of all the mental stress he was going through. I relate to that. In fact, I've done it a few times myself, in case some of you viewers may recall. I have personally done that myself, and it has been big, right? It has been a big thing for me. I have come to a lot of realizations over that time. I've made a lot of decisions over that time. And I've, I too would have changed my channel for these decisions. And they too were decisions that I didn't necessarily think were good for it at the time. But I'll be darned to heck if they weren't beneficial. You know, so this is goes to show like I've always felt a reason why I personally can relate to this man. And I know that's funny to say, but this man, Matthias, he is, needless to say, a legend to me. And someone I can definitely relate to. Heck, even the overkill character that he makes is, I relate a lot to that as well. <laughs> because there is always this part of me that's like, you know, while the rest of me is, you know, like, I don't want to be extra about anything. There's this part of me, too, that every time I'm, say, building in Minecraft or something like that, I want to go overboard. Even with my edits. In fact, me and my girlfriend's newest video that's going to come out very soon... I did the edits for that. <clears throat> I did the edits for that. And some of the scenes go overboard with the edits. But is it enjoyable? Oh, freak yeah. All of that is absolutely what you'd be looking for. So, yeah, to, to round up my thoughts on that video, because I just, again, I wanted to briefly try to talk about this. Instead of just making a really, really long comment no one wants to talk about or comment on or reply to. I wanted to personally not only acknowledge, but thank Matthias for all that he has done. I may not have been with him since the beginning, uh, like say when he was, he started out as his own creator. And I believe... My first channel I found actually might have been Dope or Nope. But, you know, I, I wasn't there with him from really a lot of the channels he talks about. Like, her, her, and I never knew he had a Nerf channel. That would have been cool to me. I was really big into PDK films when I was younger. I was more into his gaming channel that he had. I still am subscribed to Connor. <laughs> Mind you, I'm still subscribed to both Connor and Paul, but Paul doesn't... I think Paul actually quit YouTube, if I remember. Either that or he's taking a really, really long break. But, regardless, the point being, I have followed this channel and a few of his other channels for a very long time. And one thing he actually talks about in this video that's a really good point is if you don't like what he's doing, watch something else. And yeah, it, again, it's not to sound cruel, but it actually makes a good point. Because I, I can relate to this in the way of 
there was a time I used to want to just please people. You know, I'd make my content to either be an outlet or to please others, you know, on their demand. But now it's, I do want to tell stories here and there. Yes, I do still want to meet the demands of some people, but I'm not going to go through the entire algorithm to do it. If you're watching this video and you get curious about the rest of my channel, for example, be warned, it's probably, I want to say, the, the channel is 16 plus. 16, maybe 18 plus. Just be warned about that because I want you to know that in the way of what content we make, me and Matthias are pretty different. He didn't care for gaming. Gaming is like a really big thing to me. In fact, it's what I do. And unboxings too, but I never have the money for that really much anymore. I really, I do really miss unboxings. But to deal with my financial situation, I had to cut that out. Not entirely, just for the most part. So I made my channel wrapped around something I do enjoy doing. That I would make content again and again and again on. Gaming. That gaming has always been my biggest thing. And you may even see in my recent quick vid slash sorts that I do. How much I enjoy doing those. Just by the few seconds I get. Because what you're seeing there. That is my free time. That is the free time I get when I'm not focusing on doing a regular video. Focusing on doing a live stream. Or focus on doing something that needs to be done in real life. So all in all, I can relate to what he's going through, what he's talking about, and all that. So Matthias, my final message to you, don't stop doing what you're doing. Keep on the path you're going. I think you're making the very right decision here. You're scrapping the business, essentially, of... Anything that is non-essential. And I do love that. Because you have a vision that you went and took a break and now you're finally starting to realize and you are bringing it to yourself. And I really, really love that. This is one of the things I admire about you most. Matthias, you always be my boy. Even though you don't even know me. <laughs> But, yeah, that's going to be it for this time, guys. If you did like this video, please leave a like. Also, leave a like on all of Matthias' channels. Not just Dope or No, because he says himself he may never come back to the channel. Because he wants to focus on what he's doing on Overkill. Overkill, I think, is his, I would say, is his primary channel right now. He has like other things that he does but I think he is trying to keep it to one channel and that's that's a very good thing to do <clears throat> it's just like me when I was trying to make a PG channel and I know it wasn't going to work because I'm not a PG person I swear like I said like my own grandfather was a trucker for god's sakes <laughs> the man drank alcohol he smoked cigarettes he had a potty mouth like no belief like this man was everything to me though and i learned a lot from him so it's only natural eventually i'm gonna have his language and it's who i am i've reconsidered having a pg channel again but i don't think i'll ever be able to do it I don't think I'll ever get to meet the algorithm, and I'm perfectly happy with it. And I'm glad that I have had the honor to watch a channel for so long that also has just done what he loved nonstop. Right. But, yeah. Like, comment, 
down below in my video. Comment in his video. Go watch it for yourself. Please, go watch it for yourself. I can only s describe so much that happened with his video. I can only describe so much. Oh, and the rumors? Y'all cut it out. Stop making rumors. It's not nice. Nobody makes rumors about your mama. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe to me, and Matthias, definitely. So definitely sub subscribe to Overkill. That channel, I will be honest, is amazing. I, I personally do love it. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. So remember to check him out. And for me, stay in the airlines. Junior Pop.